let's go through some of the applications of NLP. Some of the applications and examples of NLP that you use daily, but you may not be aware that they are built on NLP. For example, spell correction in Word or other editors. Search engines, when you search for a term, you're using NLP or speech engines for example Siri, Google and Alexa spam classifier when you have a spam folder in your email account they are classified as spam based on NLP and the classifiers also news feeds in Google, Yahoo for example they are based on NLP machine translation like Google Translate and so on and IBM Watson which is a question answering system these are examples of NLP applications in your daily basis so if we want to categorize the NLP applications we can categorize them into the following one category is text classification in which you classify text to groups for example spam filter is this text or email spam or not inbox priority is this email important or not news aggregation sentiment analysis is this text has positive vibe or negative vibe Information retrieval. An example of this category is Google search. The way a typical information retrieval system works is that it generates an indexing mechanism. It's very similar to the indexing scheme of book. At the end of a book, you have indexing for many phrases and you go through the phrases and you find the one that you're looking for and you find the page number so Google search is similar in terms of indexing and information retrieval text summarization happens when we give an article or passage to the algorithm and we ask for summary of that content this method uses algorithms to identify the most important parts of a text and present them as summarization of the text machine translation takes input and as an output it produces text in different language and this is one of the most useful applications of NLP speech recognition is when you talk to a computer and you ask it to convert your speech into text this is one of the old NLP problems and scientists have been trying to address this problem since the world war one and it is still one of the hottest topics in the nlp area so how this works this works when a computer goes through a couple of steps first the audio goes through acoustic and then lexical and the language models for gathering tokens as output information extraction processes huge number of unstructured document and generate some sort of structured knowledge for example if you have lots of wikipedia article on a topic and the machine tries to generate ontology based on the wikipedia articles so the computer tries to create structured knowledge from unstructured or semi-structured documents question answering system can be broken down to building components from speech recognition for querying the knowledge base while the knowledge base is generated using information retrieval and extraction so on one hand you ask a question and the machine has to recognize that question and on the other hand the machine has to look for that question's answer inside the knowledge base and retrieve that information. Dialogue system is one of the dream applications of NLP in which you have a fluent dialogue with a computer. In this category, the text will go through machine translation system 
that translates your speech to target language if you are having dialogue in different languages and then the machine answers you and have a conversation with you in the same language or any other languages an example of dialogue systems are apple siri and google assistant which are still not as realistic as human behavior but they have progressed a lot in the recent years topic modeling is another category of nlp it is when you have unstructured text context and you want to categorize the text into topics and then categorize the document into corpus based on those topics two of the most important algorithms in topic modeling are lda and lsi and they are widely used in research and development the language detection is used in detecting language in a text when you have a huge data set of text where you want to analyze only text in english for example this is where you can use language detection of nlp so that was the applications of nlp and the categories of nlp i will see you in the next video